on UHF 45. Yes, the first edition for the week. It's a Monday, a very bright Monday, and this is the kind of day negotiators will tell you the sun hot. Well, but we're here in the studio to give you the very best in the world of sport, your one-stop shop for the world of sport right here on Super Screen Television. I'm signing in. My names are Prince Willow Visa, and my friends call me the Duke. So much to talk about this afternoon, and I'm excited that there are two guests in the studio that when you talk about eloquency and being detailed, they are up to date. So just sit back, pick your soft drink, whatever brand you feel like, and relax because it's a field afternoon. This afternoon, we'll be looking at the Super Eagles preparation. Players are beginning to come in, and we friend really thinks it has suspension and injury. Super Eagles are all the way. We'll look at the 2018-2019 CAF Confederation Cup. The draws are out, and Rangers International of Enugu is having a soft opposition from Ethiopia. We'll let you that uh, very soon. Also, uh, Trust Econ makes Syria a team of the week. Yes, it's a good one for uh, the Super Eagles players because we need them in top form. we we'll also look at Henry Oyekuru. He's a brace for Galatasaray. We need the goals coming in. Uh, if you consider the opponent we're meeting right here in South Africa. But the sad news is that a Gallo club has been relegated even if Mikel club did escape relegation by a whisker. We'll also look at tennis this afternoon. We'll talk about uh, basketball. It's getting real hot out there and the guys are slamming and dunking. And we'll go to EP EPL, where we'll look at the games that came up, the Manchester Derby against all expectations swindled to where a lot of people expected it. We'll also talk about La Liga. Messi came back, but he couldn't conquer. It was a big drama right there in Barcelona. Not forgetting Syria as well as some top games also came up. Yes, I have my two friends in the studio. Let me first of all call on Steven. Have you on Steven? Good afternoon. Prince, good afternoon. It's been a wonderful day so far. I've been having a bumper weekend full of mouth-watering matches. So yeah, mouth-watering matches you will see, especially the one in Manchester United. Well, I don't know if Olushala shares the same view. Olushala, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Prince. Yeah. Um, gentlemen, let's start from the home front. Um, the Super Eagles preparation for it's more or less like a bigger game. Everybody wants to see this game that will pick up the three point preparation are in top gear. We have players right now in town, but one player believes that suspension or injury, nothing will stop the Super Eagles. Steven? Well, for me, uh, we cannot say that suspension or injury will not affect the Super Eagles, but I believe the guys have what it takes to overcome every, whatever suspension they have or injury worries because they know that this is a must win game for them, for them to continue to maintain that lead in the group. Because for us to qualify, we really need to maintain that group. So for me, I think the guy has said, well, talking about with friend in the team, that suspension we really shouldn't stop them. So I believe in him. All right. Um, a lot of you will be asking, how big is this game? How important is this game? Is a game we must pick the three points and going to Johannesburg is the key issue now. Olishola, how big is this game? Very big game. Very big game, if you would ask me. I would say it's a game that you know, demands that we be very, very professional about it. Uh, we were talking before the show came on, we were talking about the fact that um, we just need, needed a point. But you know, we can't go over there to Johannesburg to play for one point because it could backfire. And you know, when you play for a point, you could lose. So I want the guys to come with the kind of mindset that uh, you want to win this game. And when you go over there that you want to win this game, it gives you the chance, you know, to be able to get whatever results that we need so that when we are home in the last game we are home and dry and we can look to get the job done all right getting the job done is a big dream for Ufeni did if he be uh, if he gets to cameroon come 2019 but the question remains can we really go to south africa and get the three point considering the fact that they were here and defeated us to zero players in town right now uh, the coach is in town royal is already in lagos we have agu i know moses simon and um Ian Nacho and Oyekuru are also in town. So, for the Super Eagles, we're wishing them the very best. Uh, they will be departing on Thursday by 5 p.m. And we sincerely give them our support as they move forward. Still, within the world of football, let's go continental. But this time, we're looking at Enugu Rangers. They will be taking on Defense Force of Ethiopia in the CAF Confederation Cup. Uh, let me come to you, Tola. Um, celebrations are still agog right there in Enugu. Um, funny enough, I spoke to a bigger cousin of mine, David Snowumi, and he told me we're still celebrating. And, you know, for 35 years, no trophy, and right now there's one in their kitty. The team, Defense Force of Ethiopia, what is so special about them? What do we know about them? Is it a bigger opponent when it comes to Rangers International Fenomen? 
Ah, well, you see, when we talk about Rangers International of Enugu, this is one of our, you know, biggest football club when we talk about our teams right here in Nigeria. So I want to say it's a good one for them, you know, just winning the ITO Cup of late. And when you look at it, you know, they are getting a favorable pairing with the defense force of Ethiopia, talking about um, the CAF Confederations Cup. So I think it's a very, very good pairing for them. They can look to bask in the euphoria of their ITO Cup uh, win, but also have one high on preparation for the Confederations Cup proper. I expect them, you know, to go even much further than Hengiba did this uh, particular, uh, in this particular season. So I expect them to, you know, be focused on the task at and we should be doing proper, we should be doing well and proper uh, uh, on, inter, uh, uh, on the international level. Mm. And I expect them to, you know, give good account of themselves when it comes Stevie, let me ask you this. Um, I don't know if you watched the game between Experience and Al Ali, the CAF Champions League game. Did you watch the final? No, I didn't. Okay, I did. I saw something that I think Rangers should learn from total football, and that is what our team don't do. For Rangers International, um, expectations are high. If you, if you, if you look of at course, what definitely. it has been definitely. for... Right now, we no longer have automatic slot of two teams of in both the Champions League and Conference mm -hmm. From your own piece of expertise, what do you think Rangers should do right as they go into the Confederation Cup? You know, um, there, there is this issue of overconfidence killing every team in every game of football. When we look at uh, the defense force of Ethiopia, really you want to say that compared to the pedigree of Rangers, uh, yeah, they are smaller to Rangers, but I think we do, we, they should not allow overconfidence stepping for them. They really need to be focused that, okay, this is the first game, let's take it with all seriousness. And when they take all, for the, every first game with, uh, with all seriousness, I think they should be able to scale over them, irrespective of how small or how big. The, uh, the, the football team is, they should take what every game with all seriousness, one game at a time, and I believe with it, they should be able to scale through. All right, Steven thinks that taking one game at a time will yield the best result in Nugu Rangers International needs. For those of you who don't know, I say it loud and clear, it is a team I support with my heart, passionately, I'm wishing them the very best. Still talking about the very best, Trust Econ makes the team of the weak list right here in Italy, in Syria. Ah, and I think Tola is a good omen when you look at our preparation towards the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. Yes, it's a good omen for us. You know, when you have one of your top players, you know, uh, representing uh, the country very well and you know after the performance he was being picked as you know uh, a part of the team of the week in the Syria a very very fantastic performance for you Dinesa. you know we don't expect anything less from this young man he has always shown promise and anytime you watch him play for the Super Eagles he comes with some kind of uh, 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 confidence and he knows how to marshal the defense line so you know playing the top leagues playing with top players you know he can transfer such confidence into the national team alongside uh, Leon, Leon Balogo that plays with, uh, for Brighton and Hope. So I think it's a good one for the Nigeria Super Eagles. We want more. Uh, we want to see more of our players in the top flight leagues. You know, delivering top level performances week in, week out. All right, talking about top level performances, we move straight to Turkey, where Henry Onyekuru hits a brace for Galatasaray. I can tell you, it is good news for Nigerian football, Steven. Definitely a good news for Nigeria at this time, considering the fact that we're also preparing for the qualifier against South Africa. And we need all hands on deck, definitely. So with Onyekuru eating a breeze in a 3-0 win. I think that's really, really a good news for us. It shows that uh, the, the players are really genuine and they are, they are you know, are really uh, coming up in every of the games. So for us, I think this is really what we need going into the, South Africa, the game against South Africa. I agree with you absolutely. Sydney, we need all the Arsenal to shoot at Bafana Bafana. There is a game, there is a dance right there in South Africa. It is called Umbitobi. If you see that dance, you know that these guys are really getting set to take the three point from us. But we have what it takes to actually go there and spring up a surprise. Talking about surprises, a uh, Agalo club just got relegated. Before we came on air, myself and Tola, we were looking at some few issues and he told me in a whisper, he didn't know I listened. Agalo <laughs> used to be good. <laughs> well, <laughs> so many goals he did score, but right now, those goals didn't matter anymore. Of course. Yes, uh, uh, Igalo for me, like I was telling you before we came on here that he used to be a fantastic he used to be uh, right about now what went if, wrong I, you come back to uh, the club what the, went wrong with a guy are you saying the Chinese league doesn't have that pep up that momentum yes, to make a yes. world-class player yes they don't because the first or the, 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 the first factor you want to look at is the point that it's not a league that comes with pressure mm. and when you don't play under pressure you know the best of your game will not come
comfort. Mm. So, you know, we have a certain Husker that plays in the English Premiership for Chelsea and he left from Chelsea to China. I think his team won the league over there in the Chinese league. But, you know, nobody knows about that exploit. But he's making big money. You understand the fact that they are going there to make money. We don't want our players to play the game just for the sake of making money. We want the passion. When the likes of JJ Okocha and Kanu played, you know, they were in the top leagues, talking about Arsenal and PSG for quite some time. Even JJ had to come to Bolton and, you know, he had to share the way of us of playing Arab football for big Arab money, you know. He just wanted to be in the spotlight. Mm. If we have our players playing top flight football, you know, we can replicate such performances. So Igalo for me is not a bad player, but ever since he went to China, his performance level has dropped and that has been reflected in the national uh, team. And when you look at the World Cup, you don't want to tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> tell us that she isn't telling me he's wrong, but uh, we're not saying that uh, Igalo is doing badly, but the club is right now relegated and we wish that he will find something better. Still talking about relegation episode, Mika Lobe, the captain of the Super Eagles, team did escape relegation with a whisker. Now, Mikel has not been playing consistently and um, he's not even in the list for the Super Eagles game against Bafana Bafana. Steven, neither here or there, Mikel. Yeah, for me, uh, uh, you know, just, we, just like you said before we came on on the show, we were discussing and I said, well, for me, when we talk about playing, uh, Mikel Obi has really neither been here or there. Lately, he's been suffering from injury, that which was why he was not included in the last game we played against uh, Libya. So, uh, I think that's the injury cause has been one of the major reasons why he's also excluded from the list of those playing against South Africa. But uh, the truth is, we really need his leadership role in the Super Eagles. Uh, for, uh, but though playing in the uh, in the China League for me is when he was going there, I looked at it that was he really going to do there? Is it money really for the money yep. or for the player? But I think it's high time where this player has come to think of it that my career is needed. Uh, uh, then uh, the fact that I need to continually play for my for the, my Danish Super Eagles, I need to also put that into consideration. But you know because we uh, the younger players are really not coming up. I think that's what's making them have, have a feel that every time that they know that every time the Super Eagles are playing, I will always go. I think it's time for the younger players to come up and give them a challenge. By giving them the challenge, that will make them to challenge themselves and also want to play in a better league than the China, Chinese league. All right, we're wishing all our players out there the very best. Those who had made it to the top should keep keeping up to the top. Please, you can call us when we come back from this break or get to us at our Twitter handle, SuperScreenNG. Super Screen TV NG. We'll go on this break. When we come back, we'll be talking tennis. Let's see the game between Roger Federer and Nikki Shikori. Do stay tuned. <laughs> 